welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome back to my YouTube channel with your girl T O P E. Happy New Year! Happy New Year, guys. Thanks for making my 2021 really great and exciting and this is me saying happy new year to you and i love you so much thanks to all my old subscribers and if you're new here aren't you happy you're here <laughs> where have you been all my life thanks for coming to my channel thanks for stopping by thank you for watching my videos and please don't forget if you like this content please don't forget to press the subscribe button just click it i'm going to give you two seconds to click it once you're subscribing it's just time guys it's just time so as the title says today is a story day and i'm going to be sharing with you guys how my first semester as a master's student was it was a long semester it was like it was it was never going to end because i had a lot of things to do it was stressful it was it wasn't fun because i did really do fun things during the semester i didn't have the chance to like hang out with friends i don't have friends yet but yeah i just have a few friends now that i love yeah i do so um first of all i'm going to start by saying um i will share the story of when i got here or how i got to the united states to do my masters my admission process my um application process for this and stuff i'm going to put a link to them like somewhere on the screen so if you haven't watched it you should check them out so that could be helpful for you if you have the intention of leaving nigeria you never can tell just check it out that's by the way um so the semester started i started my own semester the semester started august well new i started my semester september because first of all visa interview i did not get it on time and a lot of things came up in the process but here we are now now in the second semester of my first year doing my masters glory to jesus somebody shout hallelujah so um when i got to my first class um it felt different or like when i was schooling in nigeria and we all had the same skin color we all had the same accents we all had like we could easily understand each other but here the class felt like the environment felt different because you'd be hearing all this american accent here and there you know what i mean even professor said now american accent professor said they use so um at first i i think i said to myself i wasn't going to say anything on my first day in class but fortunately for me the professor asked me a question that i had to answer so i was asked questions in class and then i answered but the problem was I had to repeat myself several times for my classmates and even the professor to understand what I was saying. But it was all good. I got over it and then it got to a point that I could do presentations in class and everybody could understand what I was presenting. Glory to Jesus in the highest. That is the number one story. So the second story for today is um, when... I got posted for my um, field placement, my field practicum. So in social work department, what we do is we have the theoretical parts and we also have like the field um, practicum that gives us grades. Like we get grades for the field practicum. So there's a particular number of hours that you have to complete for the semester to be able to get your grades. And if you're not lucky enough to complete those hours, you might have to like, have incomplete in your grades at the end of the semester and then you have to complete it the following semester which is kind of like going to cost like a delay for you in school i almost had that situation but you know god is good all the time and all the time god is good that's a story for another day 
but yeah i had issues with my um supervisor my field placement that um i felt really bad about and got really emotional and for the first time in my life i had to face panel on top of that matter well they said it wasn't really panel but to me it felt like panel having to face like having to have a meeting with um four of your professors including the director or the secretary of the department and the um the head of the department what do you think stand up honey eh? so yeah um i was I wouldn't say I was accused wrongly, but out of the correction and out of the old situation, I was able to learn some things from um, the meeting I had with just professors. Yeah. And I was able to learn some things from the field placement from my supervisor that reported me to my professors. But it's all good now. I'm all sorted. I had, it, I had an A in that course in the field practical class so glory to jesus i've got nothing to worry about it's another semester i have to think about this new semester and forget about the last semester so thanks to my supervisor thanks for how she helped me last semester and how i'm going to be better at what i'm supposed to do this semester that's another story so the third story was when um i had a mental <laughs> It was when I entered America then I service day there's something called mental health oh, yeah mental health in the sense that there were some days that I'll just keep to myself and I won't talk to my sister, I won't talk to no one. Um I'll just like inside of me I you know I wouldn't want to cry in front of my younger sister. That would be weird. So what I just do is I just keep quiet and do my thing do my thinking at some point i wanted to drop out of school at some point i had the urge to go try and take some alcohol okay i'm the kind of person that is against alcohol consumption because i feel like it has its side effects a lot of it plenty of it has side effects in the body and i just don't encourage it to anyone and to myself so at this point, so that you guys will know that it was really serious, at this point, and it was a good thing because my roommate had alcohol, it wasn't a good thing, but my roommate had alcohol at home. So in fact, we had Budweiser, we had vodka, which one, name them, we had everything there. So all I needed to do was to get up from bed and then go to the kitchen and have stuff. But thank God I did not. I overcame the temptation. So yes, alcohol isn't good for you at all. Um, so um, I had those days that like helped me forget about the whole situation. It was going to help me um, get better. But trust me, guys, for those that think alcohol solves problems, it doesn't solve no problem. It's, it's sometimes it increases the problem like i feel like it's just going to add to your problem also to yourself in alcohol it doesn't change anything okay for that moment that you are drunk maybe you sleep off and then you wake up you still wake up to the problem isn't it you still wake up to the problem so what's the essence just think look for solutions to solve your problems instead of taking alcohol and consuming alcohol okay so yeah guys um in 2021, first semester, my fourth semester, I had my ups and downs. I had things going on. I had housing problem at some point. Um, by the way, if you are coming to the United States, guys, please, please, and please. Housing, getting a house or getting accommodation is not easy. So make sure you have your plans make sure you plan yourself i keep saying this please if you are living in nigeria plan yourself in every area you can plan do your research don't just say i just have to leave this country man i just want to go to america it's not easy here i'm not discouraging anybody from coming to america america is a lovely place yeah it is 
the weather, the food. Well, if you decide to eat the American food, you're good. But me, I still eat more of my, you know, African food. That's by the way. Um, so yeah, if any of you has intentions of leaving Nigeria, please and please prepare yourself in every area. Like prepare yourself psychologically, prepare yourself emotionally because it's going to be okay. I feel like the first year or the first month is going to be the trying times. It's going to be the testing time for you before you're finally settled and then you can focus. This year now, I've gone on holiday. I feel like okay, I'm ready to focus now. Last last semester wasn't it for me at all? Wasn't it? It's just by the grace of God that I made <laughs> that I came out with the 3.8 out of four points. So it was just all good. Though I wanted to make four points, but like I said, I got affected. I had been in one of my courses, but in other courses I had is. But in that course that I had the, I missed two assignments. That's the online course that I was talking about earlier in the video. Um, I missed two assignments, and those two assignments like meant a lot in the grading. So, but yeah, I'm grateful. So that's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. And my next video, which I'll be posting in two days' time, is going to be my plans for 2022. What I'll be sharing on this channel. And you guys, trust me, you can't wait to see what I have for you guys in 2022. I hope to see you in my next video. Don't forget to subscribe if you have not subscribed yet. Don't forget to like this video and comment down in the comment section below i'm really not happy to respond to questions and queries and you know. so thanks again don't forget to share also and turn on your notification bell if you want to get notified if any post is on thanks guys and this is my smiley face see you next time